Hello, welcome to this review of LEGO Star Wars set 75238 Action Battle Endor Assault. This set has 193 pieces, two minifigures, and is rated for ages 7 plus. This set came out in April of 2019 and exited in July of 2020. And this is going to be a weird one. So without further ado, let's get into the review. <music> Starting off here first, the minifigures, which are arguably the best part of the set. We have Wicket here, which is a very nice figure, and I believe uh, one of the very few Ewoks we had had at the time of release of the set. We hadn't ver gotten very many of them, at least not for quite a while, and they're just a nice figure and interesting species to have in Lego form. Now, next up, we have the Scout Trooper, which we have seen quite a bit of recently, and it's still a great figure with some great prints and just all around a great Imperial figure. So, yeah, uh, I guess let's get into the builds themselves, which are a little bit more controversial than the figures. First team we're talking about is the Imperials Tide with this red color here on the shooter, as well as the... Um, actual build now the build itself is just a little speeder on a stand which we'll get to in a second the speeder itself is a decent set kind of reminiscent to uh, some four plus stuff with the kind of boxy chunky look to it but it's not a bad build but for a $30 set eh, it's okay it's not great we've seen better in battle packs let's just let's just leave it at that now it does have this little bit here that seats right into the uh, thing here so that when the uh, resistance team or the blue side, the rebellion, hits this, it goes flying, which is kind of a nice play feature, but that is the whole point of this kind of series of sets. I think a while ago I did do the Hoth version. If you've seen that, you kind of know what you're talking about. But the uh, little launcher build is pretty simple. It's kind of basic and boring with the like way the leaves and stuff are on the ground. Kind of like a lazy way to texture, but at least there's a little bit of texture. There's also a little clip here where you can clip the uh, scout trooper, I mean, uh, blaster here. So that's kind of nice, I guess. Now, moving on to the little large spring-loaded shooter or as most people call them the big fu cannons here you can shoot it like normal there's two of them in each of these sets they're the exact same build just with the colors swapped which we will bring over here in a second as i was saying this is just a color swap version of it it's in blue instead of red same with the hoth set had a couple of these in blue and red as well i believe but yeah, just shoots like normal. Very nice to have in sets like this. It's just a very nice piece to have that you don't get all too often anymore. So yeah, the actual build for the Rebellion over here is the kind of like a Ewok Village-esque tree outpost thing. Very bare bones and basic. The uh, actual mechanism is kind of cool for this. So you have this uh pad here you hit it and then it just kind of connects up until this little spot which rocks which sends your ewok flying of course which is uh kind of a neat play feature and is of course the whole point of this kind of series of sets that did not last very long because nobody liked them and for good reason but yeah it's a, not a horrible build you have a little spot for the spear here uh definitely not winning any points for like looks like it's very kind of a bare bones structure not the uh, best looking thing but also not the worst looking star wars thing ever kind of reminiscent of four plus sets again with the blocky look of the tree and stuff kind of rem reminiscent of the four plus atst side build a little bit there but yeah let's bring the other ones in and we'll just kind of go over the entire thing in totality first i just want to say if you ever feel like you're procrastinating on something you're not because <laughs> i waited two years to review this set i just really didn't want to review it because i just wasn't an interesting set in my opinion it's been built sitting on the floor next to my desk for like two plus years at this point which is why this set from 2019 is coming out with a review 
right now because I just had it on the floor and I just did not like it was built. I just did not want to review it because it's just not fun in my opinion. Um, the concept and idea of having like these different sides, almost like kind of a board game type thing where you shoot and you hit the other characters and stuff is not a bad idea. I think it's just a little bit flawed from the way they want the way they're coming through. Cause like when you're building like a Star Wars Lego set or something, say you're a kid or something, you more more than likely want to play with like the ships and the vehicles, actually like hitting the stuff and knocking it over. At least that's what I used to like. But just having these little like shooters, kind of like a board game style, like ooh your move, okay, it's Blue's move, shoot it. Oh yeah, I hit it. It's not quite as fun. Although it is nice to kind of see play features and stuff implemented with things like going flying and stuff. That's always fun. But now we got to talk about the price. Now when this came out, it was $30. It was $29.99 for a 193 piece set with two figures, the two kind of big FU cannons as they're known in the Lego space. Uh, which are a very nice piece to get. The figures are pretty good, but I do not think this set is worth the $30 at all. Now, new currently, this set has gone down a bit in value in the five years or so, four years, I guess, since it's kind of been uh, discontinued. It has gone down to 27-ish new, I believe, is the average on brick set. And if you want to get it used, it's about sixteen, seventeen ish dollars. Also, again, according to Brickset, which it's one of the few sets that has actually gone down in value. I don't know many that have gone down down in value, except maybe like the Jin or so buildable figure and stuff like that, where you can get that thing for like I don't know eight bucks, and you can still see it in some like very specific stores. It's kind of crazy, but. Yeah, it's just not a great set. Uh, some of the builds are a little bit chunky, not all that interesting. The main draw from the set is, of course, the figures and the little cannons here, which aren't all that interesting to play with. So, yeah, uh, I personally wouldn't recommend buying this, especially since the main draw comes from the figures, especially this guy right here, the um, Scout Trooper which we have seen in the uh, like snow trooper battle bike we've seen him all over he's all over nowadays which is really nice and it's just a really good figure and also wicket i believe he is in the uh newer not i guess not quite newer like new new uh display model the endor battle diorama or whatever i forget exactly what it's called which i will eventually be doing a review on but yeah it's just like it's just not as interesting. All these characters you can get, even though they're good figures, you can still get them. And the really only uh, exclusive thing that's actually kind of worth getting is the cannons here, which you can find in some other sets. Not very many like more modern sets, but you can still find them around. They're not like they're not like they only come in this style set and you've never seen them before they're not they're not suit they're not like they're not worth 30 bucks let's just say that but yeah uh you're you can make your own opinions on this if you're collecting like all lego star Wars sets of course you're gonna need to pick this up but for the average person this is definitely not worth picking up even on the aftermarket i wouldn't do it so yeah I guess that's really all I have to say about this set, and that's kind of why I've been procrastinating on it, because it's just not an interesting set, in my opinion. I never really liked it, other than the, like, it's it's kind of fun just because of uh, these and stuff, kind of fun to mess around with a bit, but it's definitely not worth the 30 bucks you might still have to pay, depending on where you find it, if you want to get it new. So yeah, that's about all I have to say about this video, and we'll see you later. Bye.